Aloha everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing one of my favorite unboxings which is Boxy Charm. This is Boxy Lux. It's a quarterly subscription. It costs $49.99 every three months. <clears throat> You cannot get Boxy Lux as a standalone subscription. You have to also get the base box, Boxy Charm, which is $21 a month this month and next month. And if you lock in like an annual three month, six month subscription, you can lock in the $21 price. But as of November, it will go up to 25. And there is an increased added value to the box. They say it's guaranteed $125. And now it's guaranteed to be 100 but Boxy Lux this month is supposed to be a $300 plus dollar value. So I'm very excited. We got to customize items. So I am so excited to dig in. Let us see. Okay, so it comes with a card. This month's theme is All Access. I got variation 20L. So <laughs> a lot of variations this month. And then on the back of the card, it tells you what you've got and the retail value of those items. Let's dive on in. I'm going to unbox first, and then I will do a try-on portion with the items I can try on later. I do have a base of makeup on, just my foundation. I did my eyebrows already. But this is a Clean Skin Water or Clean Skin Club Fruit Infuser Water Bottle. It's a one liter bottle. And... It looks like this. Take all this packaging off really quickly. Oh. <clears throat> okay. It's a little, little dinged up, a little, just a little bit. You can, you guys can see that. Looks like it was, I don't know. It might just be. I don't know, that might just be something on it, but it opens like this. You sip it, or you could, well, I don't know if you could put a straw in there with the infuser, because then your straw would just be in the infuser part, but you can take the infuser out, and it comes with a little cleaning sponge in there, which is really nice, but you can also just have it to where there is no infuser part in there, if you wanted to stick a straw in there, and then it tells you ounces and then the times you should be drinking the ounces by. I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but super cute. There's, yeah, it's a little bit dirty, but should be fine. At least the inside is not dirty. That's the part I care about the most. I actually did choose this. I know a lot of people are saying, I don't want a water bottle, but the other choice was a Tarte Park and Avenue Princess palette, and I already had that palette. I got it in the Best of Boxy Charm box last year when I first joined. I signed up, and then I saw that box. It had a lot of great stuff in it, and I got it, and I've barely touched it, so I did not want another one, so I did choose the water bottle. I'm actually excited about getting the water bottle, and part of this set, so the water bottle is a $17.95 retail value. And along with this, this counts as two items. The next thing I'm going to show you, or sorry, one item. So it, it's two items, but it counts as one because the retail value was comparable to the other variations you could have gotten. So you could have gotten the Park Avenue Princess um, uh, face shaping palette, contour palette. Or you could have gotten a Too Faced natural face palette, which I actually have a lot of face palettes. So I'm not disappointed that I chose this. But... This is the Spongelay Mani Petty Treatment Set, and it's in Salted Rose. So, you guys know if you've been around for a while, I'm not the biggest fan of rose scents, but I do really like Spongelay. And it's not, it does smell like rose, but it's not as, I got a Spongelay that was in, I think, Bulgarian rose. It's not nearly as overpowering as that. You just undo these. There is a softer side and there's a buffer side and you just get them wet, squeeze it out. You can use the um, softer side to lather and the buffer side to um, buff. <laughs> but this says you can use it 
seven washes each buffer so you get about 14 uses out of these which is pretty cool and the retail value of that is $18 so these two count as one item I'm actually happy to have gotten this set try it out I'm gonna go need to buy some fruits or maybe some cucumbers or something so I can stick them in my infuser water bottle uh, the next thing I'm seeing is the Tarte High Performance High Performance Naturals Clay Pay. Why can I not speak today? Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. Here's the package. And you open it up and it comes, it also comes with like a look card. It gives you a couple of different looks you can do using the palette. I'm probably going to go for this one here once I do the try-on portion. But this is what she looks like. Sorry for blinding you guys. This is what she looks like. Mmm, it smells really good like chocolate. But there's like three different kind of shade ranges, a lighter, a medium, a, a deeper tone, and I'll be playing with that. It really does smell good. Like I said, I do have quite a few face palettes, but I don't think any of them are as like inclusive as this one that has has you can stuff you can use for eyeshadow and highlight and all sorts of fun stuff. So I'm excited to try this out. And that retails for 45 bucks. <clears throat> 45 snackaroonies. The thing I am probably most excited, well, no, I take that back. The thing I'm probably second most excited about, I actually did choose this for customization as well. This is a Moda brush set. It is the eight piece pro glam set. And yes, I am excited to try out these brushes. I love brushes, especially sets. And these are my favorite color, black. Oh, oh, oh. It's really nice. I am excited to use this. Oh, and they're like, each one is individually wrapped within the individual wrapper, so that's fun. I will definitely be giving these a shot. They're super fluffy. Ooh, I'm going to love these brushes. I can already tell. Let me just take it out for a second. One of these out for a second. Yeah, it's fluffy. It's nice. And it feels kind of nice. I like it. I like it a lot. like it a lot. So yes, yeah, excited to try that out. You know what? I'm just going to look at it. Okay, the thing I am most excited about, I chose this too. It is the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. I'm actually running low on my serums, I believe. So I am super excited about this. It's a little smaller than I actually thought it would be. Like, I can hold the whole thing in my hand so it is smaller than I thought it would be but it's super cute if you can't tell I love pineapples and this really does smell like pineapple I've already tried this once I couldn't wait sorry guys and it does smell like pineapple kind of like pineapple juice so I already used it once but that was about three or so days ago maybe four uh, but I did like it a lot and it was really nice on the skin I am so excited to continue using that Another thing I'm excited about is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Mask. Oh, and the brush set retails for something. $69.99. Woo! Okay. The serum retails for $49. And then the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Sleeping Mask is $52. Dr. Brandt, it's pretty expensive, but I like all the products I've tried from it, except for the primer, pore refiner, fine, pore, words, the pore refiner primer, but I noticed I don't personally really just am, get over the moon excited for any primers. I don't think any of the ones I've tried have really been just exceptional. I do like the Tarte Fa Face Tape. That one's, I think, one of my favorite ones. But anyways, so this is the Recovery Sleep Mask. I'm excited to try this out. I have not tried this one out yet. It comes with a safety seal. And I'm just going to put a teeny tiny bit on my hand. It smells nice, kind of like a spa. 
Mm, I don't know what's in it. Let's see if I can see a fragrance right off the bat. Okay, this says lavandula, so that means lavender. I can smell a little bit of the lavender, but it has like a an almost minty smell too. I don't know if I'm just imagining that or if there is indeed some sort of minty scent in here. Uh, I'm not, upon first glance, I'm not really seeing any minty ingredients, but I don't know. I, I smell it. Maybe I'm not the best at identifying smells, so I could just be wrong. <laughs> That's okay. The next thing is this IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. This is to be applied to damp or dry hair and you can air dry or blow out which is fantastic i know a lot of the hair products i get are for before you blow dry your hair or heat style your hair and i don't tend to do that so i'm glad you can let it air dry because that's what i do 99.973 percent of the time i am excited to try this i wonder how it smells is it oh it does not have a safety seal so that just came right out there let's see how this one smells mm, kind of coconutty maybe maybe it does Maybe that's not coconut. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yep, it says coconut oil. I'm not seeing any other scents. Oh, it says fragrance. That's helpful. <laughs> smells like fragrance. I smell a little bit of coconut in there for sure. I know this is not really a, a moisturizer, but my hand's going to be hydrated. <laughs> okay, so the Dr. Brand I said was 52, the IQJ. IQJ? IGK hair balm is 29 and then we have two more things in here okay, they were kind of hiding the Hank and Henry slick with it eyeliner in blickety black it's a long wear eyeliner so I'll be using that I I wish they would send like colorful liners sometimes I don't know I think I have probably four black eyeliners, liquid eyeliners. So another color might be nice. And that retails for $20. And then this is the Stila Stay All Day Shimmer Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina Shimmer. Looks like a really pretty color. <clears throat> I am going to swatch both of these on my hand. So, okay, there's the blickety black eyeliner right there. Oh, and then the patina shimmer. Oh, that's pretty. And the patina shimmer. So I am excited to try this stuff on. The Stila lipstick retails for $22. Okay, so the try on portion. Going to start with the Tarte palette. I am going to unwrap these brushes so that I can use them. I don't want to do that on camera because that will take 74,000 years. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back to try out this palette. I unpackaged each individual brush and I am going to be following along with this little guide. It's going to tell me what to do. So I'm just going to try and follow it to the best of my ability and then we will see how the look turns out. So this says to apply journey into the crease starting in the outer corner and up towards the inner corner. Journey is this very top shade up here. God, this palette smells so good. It's a little bit of kick up, but that's okay. Oh, that's actually really nice. Although my glasses kind of mess with my n nose makeup, <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Okay, I'm just 
just going to apply a little bit more. Okay, and then it says press solstice all over the lid to brighten and open the eye. So I'm guessing if it's press, then I just use my finger. So I'm just going to take my finger into solstice and press it on the lid like it says to. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with another layer of that because it's a little sheer. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Brightening it up a little bit. It smells so good. Okay, and then it says, using terracotta, define the outer crease. I think I'm going to use this. They don't have names on them, but I'm sure there's like the box or something says what they are. So what does it say? Terracotta. Where's terracotta? Okay, terracotta is this large pan shade right here. So lots of kick up using that brush. And I'm defining the outer corner, I guess. I probably shouldn't have used this brush. It seems like it's a little dense for this particular thing. I'm just going to go... I guess I'm going to go back in with the one I had used before. back and do what I had done before with this one. It is a little dense, but now this one just isn't precise when you're starting out with it. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I need to blend. This needs to be blended a little bit more. says buff terracotta desert or timber to the hollow hollowest points of the face this probably isn't even the right brush but we're gonna do that okay I think I'm gonna go with terracotta a little heavy handed. That might be a little warm. I'm just gonna take this big old fluffy blush and blend it, blend it a little bit. So it's not looking all kinds of crazy for the better. And then I'll put it up here. It definitely needs to be blended up because that is scary. Brush hair. Okay, apply stone to lower lash line for definition. Where's stone? Stone is this right here. I'm not going to go 
all the way, but I'll go maybe about halfway with it. Sorry if you're hearing a car out there. My niece's dad is here to pick them up. Okay, so that is that. I think I'm also going to just take this random blush brush I haven't used yet, and I'm just gonna apply Solstice, a lightest shade. I don't know if I'm digging the matte highlight thing. I might have to use another highlighter. Um. Okay, so that is the eye look. I am just going to blend it out a little bit more. And then I'm going to put this up. And I am going to use the eyeliner. Real quick. expect me to do a wing. That's not happening. Ugh. Okay, there's nothing wrong with this eyeliner. I am just not the world's best at applying it, so it's actually going on just fine. Just gotta make sure that the the uh, eyes look a little even. And I just made this one much larger, so I'll add just a little bit to this one. Hopefully that doesn't look absolutely terrible. I'm going to pop on some mascara, blush, and highlighter, and I will be right back to toss on the lippy. Okay, tossing on the Stila Patina Shimmer Lippy, and then this look will be complete. pretty. I like it. I don't mind the look all together. I am a little sweaty because it's really hot in my garage. But all in all, I am pretty excited about this box. So I got toss on my glasses real quick. Are these all the brushes? I got the brush set, which I'm excited to continue and use. The chart the Tarte Clay Shaping Palette, which I'll play around with. I like that it comes with a little card so that if you're just uninspired for the day, you can put something together really quickly. The Stila, the, where did Hank and Henry go? Oh, I think it dropped, did I drop it in my lap? No. Well, it's somewhere. I I IGK Hair Balm. Glow Recipe Serum, Dr. Brandt Product, Hydro Biotic Sleep Mask. I got the water bottle and many petty set. And I, like I said, I did get the eyeliner, but I have no idea where it went. I thought I had dropped it into my lap, but who knows? It's, oh, my, did I put it? Oh, there it is. Ha ha! found it to that. So I am going to add all of that stuff together really quick, come back with total and final thoughts.
Okay, so all in all, everything came out to almost $323, which is fantastic, especially since it's only eight items. So that means the value of each item increased because usually they guarantee a value of about $275 with nine or 10 items. So the fact that it was three over $320, close to $325 with just eight, that means the value of the items is higher. So that's exciting. I'm excited to try this out and fuse your water bottle. I actually chose this. I'm excited about it. I also love sponge -Lay and my feet need a little love, so I'll definitely be giving this a shot. Excited to try out the Dr. Brandt Recovery Sleeping Mask. I'll probably try this out tonight when I do my skincare. Um, I love hair products that don't like add texture or you have to use heat protectant stuff, so I'm excited to try that. Hold on, baby! I'll be using this eyeliner. I know I have several, but it never hurts to have a backup. Maybe keep one in my purse or something. I'm excited to try out the brush set. You can never have too many brushes. And I love the texture and the black candles. I'll be giving this a shot. Maybe try out the other two looks that come in the little lookbook that come with it. This is the item I'm most excited about, the Pineapple Sea Serum really excited about that especially the fact that it looks like a pineapple and it smells like pineapple i am so happy and then the stila lipstick oh as i dropped in my uh this okay let's see okay so there is a little bit of transfer i like for my lipsticks to not have any transfer at all but I'll see how this wears throughout the rest of the day and I'll be able to give like a more complete thought on it. As far as the immediate transfer, it did have a little bit of time to dry down. I am not a huge fan of that. I like stuff that does not transfer at all, but it is a pretty color. And if it stays on for a while, maybe I'll be able to deal with the minimal transfer as long as it doesn't completely go away in like an hour because I find that happens with a lot of liquid lipsticks but overall it was a great box I'm really excited to play with the majority of this stuff I don't think there's one thing that I'm just like oh my gosh I hate this I can't believe I got it I think the only thing I'm not really as excited about is just the Hank and Henry eyeliner just because if it were in like a different color like maybe a cool blue or I don't know purple or green or even like a, a dark gray or something I think I'd be a little bit more excited about it but it's a black eyeliner and black eyeliners can only be so good um, I do tend to prefer liquid eyeliners but it's a black eyeliner but even this I'm excited to try and work with a little more so I think it's a great box I think it's definitely worth the price I will continue to be a boxy charm boxy looks subscriber I don't know if I'll do premium if we're being honest but I'm excited to keep my base box and my boxy looks. And I have about three other boxes that are sitting over here waiting to be unboxed. So hopefully within the week, you will see more videos from me. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you like, don't like about it. Feel free to leave any comment down below that you would like. And if you want to see more of my videos or be alerted when I come out with new stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the ring bell notification if you want. But thank you so much for watching. I'll be linking some videos shortly and I hope you have a fantastic day.